page 42, March. Two four time, no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're in C major. I got accidentals all over the place. Let's do it one hand at a time. See if we can get the notes and the fingering and the rhythm and all that. You're coming in on a pickup note. It's the last one fourth of the second beat. When I get this kind of a thing, this dotted rhythm, these sixteenth notes are just short notes. Look at the first full measure. You hear? These just make them, make them short. Don't turn them into triplets. No, they've got to be short. Technically, it's one e and a two e and a one e. But I just feel it. So, well, once I have that, the first pickup note there is a short note. Just, just make it short. So we're going to, again, the fingering. What's your finger? Third finger. Four. The, this is the melody. That's what we want to hear. Connect that. And then lift up and do it again. Connect this if you can. I'm just lifting up on the B because i got to play it again. And then I'm connecting it. And then a here. Second. They're, they're saying four. That doesn't work very well. There's a couple possibilities in this fingering. I'll get, show them both. You decide what you want. But starting with measure nine, that's fine the way it is. And then for that last note in measure ten, it's fourth finger is here. That way you're in position. Here. Or. Because this is awkward if you don't want to do that. You can do this, measure nine. For instead of a third finger for the last note, measure nine, make that fourth. Because that way you can come down four, two. And now you can use fourth finger. And that's a little little more easy, easy, easier, more comfortable. I don't know, it's more something. Four. I kind of like that for my hands. They're, they're bigger hands. It's just easier for me to do it that way. Smaller hands, I'm sure the thing in the book is fine. I just don't like going from here to here. I don't like doing that. I want, I want to play that G in measure 11. I want to play that with little fingers. So I need a fingering that lets me do that. Well, that means I need three or four or something. Then going on the last, the last line, like we had at the beginning. Connect the top note if you can. Just lift up on the thumb and then play it. It feels weird at first but you really need to be able to do it so I'm encouraging you to try it. Left hand you just have the chords. The 5-7 chord, we're not using all the notes, you don't have to. And then here, you can also do that second finger there if you want. And then the next line at the end you have here. I use two on that. And then the third line you get that rhythm. And then here. That's fine. And then the last line. I use two and three on that one here to here. You can use two and one if you'd rather. If you have small hands that's better. If you can, that comes in handy. Put the hands together. I'm still connecting everything here. I'm just still trying to get the hands and the fingers to work. Going on. So this part is tricky. Watch out. to go over those few measures a few times, even one hand at a time again to get it, but they, uh, you need the hands to work together. And then go on. So forth and once you can, you'll have to go that fast, you know your speed, 
but get it worked together and get the glitches, get the hesitations worked out. So the beat is steady. It can be slow, but it needs to be steady. And then we can add the articulation. It's here. Don't play these staccato. They're disconnected, so in technically they are staccato, but it's a long staccato. See here. And then accent. Separate them now. See, before we were connecting that, well, when we add the articulation, it changes. And again. At least the articulation is the same in both hands. The slurring, that makes it a little, little bit easier. Then we add the dynamics. That's the right hand. Loud, whatever you think loud is. Accent makes those notes kind of very loud. We want to hear the right hand though. Keep the left hand down a little bit. The whole thing is loud. You can, once you get to know it and you get to feeling it, you can come down a little bit, a little louder, a little. Don't play it all exactly the same. You know, ugh. for instance, the last measure in the first line, measure four here. I play that C a little softer because it's bottom. So you can get the feel in it, and then you'll hopefully kind of play it as you feel it. Speed-wise, Energetico is not a speed, it's with energy. That's a march. If you're going to march to it, left, right, left, right. slow down or anything it just keeps going because it's a march. Marches and dances typically you'll keep a steady speed throughout the piece. I like to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do any dynamics although there are no dynamics to speak of. So let's just try it real real slow. I'll give us two counts and we come in on the end of the second count. Ready and go. And 